Hello everyone, welcome to one new episode of Golan Cafe. And today we are going to go through other advent of code day two. Uh, we already went through the day one puzzle, so today we're just gonna go through the same, but it's going to be for a day two exercise. Um, so the exercise for today it's um, it's as well about uh, text input, and uh, we'll have to find out um, some of the things that it tells you here in the exercise. So. Um, the flight departs in a few days from the coastal airport. Uh, the easiest way down to the coast uh, from where, uh, uh, from here is via Tobogan. The shopkeeper at the North Pole Tobogan rental shop is having a bad day. Something wrong with our computers. We can't log in. You ask if you can take a look. Their password database seems to be a little corrupted. Some of the passwords wouldn't have been allowed by the official Tobogan corporate policy that was in effect when they were chosen. Uh, to try to debug the problem, they have created, they have created a list, uh, your puzzle input, so in this case the input of passwords. According to the corrupt database and uh, the corporate policy when the password was set. For example, suppose you have the following list. You have uh, a text input, you have lines, and then uh, for each line you have, as you can see here, you have a, um, a range, uh, a number range, because uh, from an integer to another integer, then you have a, a character, and then you have a string. Each line gives the password policy and then the password. The password policy indicates the lowest and highest number of times a given, a given letter must appear in the password to be valid. For example, 1, 2, 3, A means that the password must contain one, must contain A at least one time and at most three times. Uh, in above example, uh, two passwords are valid. Uh, so it can contain, so just basically gives us the count of uh, characters in the string, uh, 1, 2, 3 A's, so we can get in this example we get 1 A, 1, 2, 3 B's, uh, we get no B's, those is password is invalid, 2 to 9 C's, so we get, um, uh, we get exactly 9 C's, so this is valid, and uh, so the output from this one is going to be 2, because it wants the number of valid passwords. And so it goes with the same uh, with the same thing. So we just need to get the puzzle input. The puzzle input. Uh, we copy this out, and um, I'm just gonna uh, copy this in our uh, input.txt file. So you go. We have 1,000 lines. Um, so the first thing that we're gonna do is uh, one dot uh, one dot go, and we're gonna load the file. So the file contents, uh, the file contents is uh, iutil.read file is uh, input.txt. If error is not nil, this is all boilerplate code. Dot println, and then we do um, actually this is print. Uh, this is fatal. Um, so now we have a one three a and then our string abc. So we want to split into lines as well uh, this time. So we want to split into lines and what we want to do, we want to count the number of valid words. So we go valid zero, uh, lines, uh, we range over the bytes uh, using split, which is contents, and then we use a byte, byte, uh, byte value. We split by new line. So now for each line, uh, we have uh, this pattern here, we can easily split by space and then we can uh, then split by uh, dash and get the, uh, the low and the high and then we get the actual pattern we want to match and then we get the password. So we get parts, uh, we get strings, a split, uh, so we split our line which is a string, uh, which is a byte slice, so we need to convert to string line. Uh, we want to split by space so we get the parts uh, if parts uh, is not is less than three because uh, we want at least three continue and uh, we log uh, print a len parts less than three uh, and then we bring the line string line so once you have that uh, we want to um, uh, we want to get the lows and the eyes uh, the the first piece which is parts of zero and we want to split that by we want to split that by. Um, we want to split that by uh, the dash sign. Uh, so we just uh, so we just in this in this space this place here. So it's part zero. 
uh, uh, we split it by the sign uh, if lh len of lh is less than 2 uh, we continue log print ln lh uh, less than 2 and then once we know the low and the highs um, low error we're just going to ignore the error for now otherwise and then we do the, the parsing ask it to integer so low i of 0 is the low uh, and the i is uh, same string conv ask it to integer this time is the i is the low i e1 so we got the low we got the i we need the pattern as well which is part of 2 and the pattern we need it as a, a rune because uh, then we are not going to use it as uh, an index uh, in our uh, string as well so um, we get the pattern which is a rune, uh, rune slice from parts of one and then we also have the password which is a rune slice as well and the reason why I'm converting to rune slice is because uh, uh, in Go, strings are not indexable, just, uh, you know, directly. You need to convert them to rune slices and then you can index them, you can access the index of the string. So then we just do, um, we, also, we also need to remove, uh, from this we also need to remove the columns, replace all from the parts one. We need to replace the column because we have the column there. And so here, uh, this is strings, um, this is parts 3, parts 2, sorry, parts 1, parts 2, and uh, this is the password. So now we just need to count, to count the number of occurrences there. Uh, so we need to go through the, um, uh, through the range password um, uh, and see uh, i equals zero and zero and then if uh, c equals to a uh, pattern of zero because it's uh, just one uh, item is uh, and then we do i plus uh, plus and then if um, if low is uh, greater than sorry if i is less than um, i that's only one then i and um, i is uh, great great or equal than low then uh, we do valid plus plus and at the end we know how many print ln how many valid strings we got so what we're gonna do what we do here is we go through the password through each uh, character of the password and this is going to be a rune and then we compare the rune with the actual pattern the pattern is going to be a slice of runes with just one item which is the a here so we compare all of those if those are equals then we sum we sum them up and then uh, we check if this is uh, this number is is uh, in between uh, the highs and the lows that we want to uh, that we want to capture go run one dot go uh, parts 3, obviously this is len, pattern type int and run, which is integer, okay, okay. So I think uh, that we need to do something like this, and uh, this is also length. So parts uh, 3 is len of parts, because parts is a slice of strings, so we get uh, 398 she's uh, the actual answer that we were expecting from that so now the second problem set is slightly different as well as uh, we have seen with the day one and uh, the problem set here is uh, just using the same input so this the input is exactly the same uh, at least the same format now the difference is that each policy actually describes two positions in the passwords where one means the first character, two means the second character, and so on. Be careful, Tobo can corporate policies have no concept of index zero, so we need to uh, subtract one from the actual index. Exactly one of these positions must contain the given letter. Other occurrences of the letter are relevant for the purpose of policy enforcement. So we get uh, one, three, A, 
and it basically means that uh, either one or or three uh, or uh, character position three must be a and if those two of them are, are a then it's invalid if uh, i neither, neither of them then it's invalid so it's only valid whenever either of the two is true so it's kind of an, an xor condition uh, and uh, invalid yes so one two one one and three of b uh, position one and position three character position one character position three must be containing b in this case none of those are valid so this is invalid and then it says here as well position two o and uh, position nine uh, must contain other of those must contain uh, c but not both of them and so here you can see that this is invalid because they both contain uh, the letter so it must be only on one of the two position if it's uh, the two positions or if it's none of the two positions then it's invalid uh, so obviously I already solved this problem uh, and it shows already the output but you can go through the problem together again so I'm gonna use the same input and uh, I'm gonna create a vim2 uh, actually I'm gonna remove uh, the, the number remove remove the number 2 and I'm gonna just uh, copy the one over to to the go so I already have some boilerplate here so now Oh, now the thing that we, need, that we need to do is to, instead of counting the characters, we just need to, um, we just need to basically check um, if, uh, we just basically need to check if um, the password uh, at position uh, low, minus one, is equal to the pattern at uh, index zero. So if this is true, then we want to uh, we want to um, we want to actually uh, we want to actually count this as valid. And if they both, you can just use the not equals to because uh, those two conditions. So if you count them here, this is the second condition. If um, the character is uh, present in the low position. Uh, is true and the character is present also in the i position uh, that's also true and true uh, is not equal to true so you can just use the not equal operator to uh, to check this condition here and um, also counting them if uh, those two positions are uh, are false for example if this condition is false if uh, our uh, our character at position low is not uh, the one that we were expecting this is false and uh, if there are character position i is false uh, it's not present so it's false and it's also false false is not equal to false so we get an invalid so we basically we can just check that those two conditions are not equal and where does, when those two conditions are not equal then uh, it means that uh, either of them is true basically right because we have just two of them so we just uh, increment the valid here and uh, I think that's that should be everything and you get 562 which is the, the actual output that you were expecting that was quite quick and uh, I hope that you liked the the puzzle and uh, hopefully see you the next uh, the next day thanks for watching